This is Twit. In the last upgrade segment, we bumped the 8 gigabytes of system memory in our Acer Predator to 16 and 32 gigabytes of high-performance DDR3. We received a small bump in performance between 1.5 and 6.2%. We started with the memory because that's the easiest component to upgrade. It doesn't require new drivers, reinstallations, or power calculations. Now we're getting a little dirtier by replacing the video card. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that our system can actually support a new video card. Opening up the case, first look at the power supply. Your power supply needs to support the power requirements for all the components in your computer. Rotating hard drives typically draw a max of 10 watts. SSDs pull about 3 watts. Motherboards can pull about 40 watts for a mid-range model, while high-end motherboards can draw up to 80 watts. Intel i3 to i7 CPUs will pull between 55 and 150 watts, while AMD CPUs draw between 65 and 125. Each stick of memory will pull about 3 watts and an optical drive about 30. Each fan in the case adds about 3 watts of load. The biggest power hog in a performance box is typically its video card. A high-end video card will demand up to 260 watts while a top-end card can grab 350. That means that our Predator, with its i7 CPU, mid-range motherboard, 1TB hard drive, Blu-ray optical drive, 8GB of memory, high but not top-end GTX 660 video card, and two fans, will pull just under 450 watts. Our power supply can provide 500 watts, so we've got about a 50-watt surplus. Now we need to know how many PCI Express slots are available on the motherboard. As the Predator is a compact case, we pulled the existing GTX 660 to give us an unobstructed view of the motherboard. This required us to first unlock the rear video card bracket, remove the power cables, then trip the small plastic lever that locks the card into the existing PCI Express slot. With the card free, we had an unobstructed view of the motherboard. The Predator has one PCI Express X16 slot and two PCI Express X1 slots. The X refers to the number of lanes in each PCI Express expansion port. The higher the number of lanes, the more data packets can be transmitted simultaneously. PCI Express slots can have 1, 2, 4, 8, 12, 16, and 32 lanes, with 1 and 16 being the most common. You can tell how many lanes a PCI Express slot has by looking at the size. Each lane adds 4 wires to the slot. Video cards work best when you give them PCI Express X16 slots. You could run a video card on an X1 slot, but as your goal is to go faster and not to cripple your brand new and probably extremely expensive upgrade, that would be stupid. More importantly, with only one PCI Express X16 slot, we can't run more than one video card in the Predator. Since we'll have to replace the existing card, which we estimated could pull 260 watts in the worst case scenario, We've got a 310 watt power budget for a card that fits in our PCI Express X16 slot. In other words, the sky is the limit. But we didn't go with the sky, because that would have been crazy expensive, and we're all about bang for the buck. As we mentioned in the last segment, a GTX 660 isn't a slow card, it's just a bit dated. We decided to go with a GTX 770 upgrade. Why? Because a superclocked version can be had for about $330, while a superclocked GTX 780 would run 200 more. Also, there was one in Alex's desktop computer, so we stole it for the test. We slotted the 770 into the Predator, secured it, reattached the power cables, and powered it back on. Since we were previously using an NVIDIA card, we didn't need to reinstall drivers. But if you're installing a new graphics part for the first time, you may need some driver work. We kicked off PC Mark 8 and ran a benchmark. From the previous segment, we knew that the baseline Predator with a 660 scored 3924. With the 770 upgrade, but the same memory and hard drive, our Predator scored 4229. That's an increase of 7.8% or 0.024% performance boost per dollar spent. In other words, strictly judging by benchmarks, it's more bang for the buck than a 32GB memory upgrade. <laughs> 